Have you configured your Google Chrome browser? It doesn't matter if you are a new user or have been using Google Chrome for a long time. You should configure it properly. In this video, I will tell you about Google Chrome settings that you should change before starting to use it. Run a safety check. The first thing you should do after installing Google Chrome is to run a safety check. Chrome's safety check will look for browser updates, compromised or weak passwords, and harmful extensions in your browser. To do this, open the settings and click on the Privacy and Security tab. Here, you will see the Safety Check option. Click on Check Now. It will check everything and display the results. From here, you can take the actions it suggests. For example, this password manager suggests that I should change some of my passwords compromised in a data breach, while a few others are weak and some are reused passwords. Privacy Guide. Now let's run the Privacy Guide to check if your data is under your control. Click on Get Started and then Next. Under Search and Browsing Quality, if you turn it on, you can browse faster. However, your browsing data is sent to Google for this feature to work, so you can decide if you want to enable this feature. Next, we will see the History Sync, which allows you to see your browsing history later or on multiple devices. Similar to the previous one, your history will be uploaded to the Google account. If you want this, you can turn it on or disable this. Here is the safe browsing protection. You can use enhanced protection, which offers faster proactive protection against dangerous websites, downloads, and extensions. But it needs your browsing data to be sent to Google. If you are okay with this, you can select this option. Next, we have third-party cookie preferences. The default option selected is block third-party cookies in incognito mode. However, if you want strict no tracking, you can block all third-party cookies. Check my activity. Once the safety check is completed, you can check my activity. You can reach here by typing myactivity.google.com and sign into your account if you haven't already. Here you can see all your activity across all Google products, such as websites you have visited, videos you have watched, your location history, and app history. From here, you can view all that history and delete it. If you visit the activity controls on the left side, you get further control over your activity. You can set the auto delete history feature for your web app location and YouTube history. You also get options to configure personalized ads. Enable do not track. Done with the my activity next, we will open the Google Chrome settings. Click on privacy and security. We have already discussed safety check and privacy guide. Now let's see the third party cookies options. You have seen this option in the privacy guide. However, if you decide later to change it, you can do that from here. Another option worth checking here is the do not track request. If you toggle this on, a do not track request is sent with your browsing traffic. Block pop-ups and redirects. Now, we will manage those irritating pop-ups and redirects. Go back and click on Site Settings. Here, under the Content section, you will find that option. Here, you can select the default behavior, which you should set to Don't Allow. If you browse any genuine website that needs pop-ups or redirections, you can add that website as an exception in the Allowed section. Configure notifications. The next thing we will tackle is those unwanted notifications. Go back to the site settings and under the permission section, click on notifications. The default option selected is sites can ask to send notifications. If you are frustrated with those small pop-ups asking to allow notifications from a site, you can use either quieter messaging or completely block them with this option. If you are seeing notifications from websites and want to block them, you will find that site here in the Allowed section. Simply click on the three dots and select Block. Block JavaScript. Now, let's disable JavaScript, because most of the time, hackers exploit vulnerabilities in JavaScript to enter your PC. Go back and under the Content section, click on JavaScript. Here, we recommend that you block JavaScript by default. However, some genuine websites, such as YouTube, use JavaScript to function. For those, you can click on the small icon and allow JavaScript if you trust that website. Block location access for your device. The next thing you should do is block the location access for websites. Go back under the permissions section, click on location. 
Here, you will see two options. Sites can ask for your location or don't allow sites to see your location. Select the option that you want. If you have allowed any website to access your location by mistake, you will see them here and you can block them. Block camera and microphone access. With access to your camera and microphone, websites can spy on you. So let's block them. Go back to camera and block the permission. Do the same with the microphone. Enable always use secure connection. Now we will go back to privacy and security and quickly check the security tab. This enhanced protection is what we checked in the privacy guide. Anything worth checking here is under the advanced section, such as always use secure connections. This will ensure that you only open websites with HTTPS. Another option here is using the secure DNS, which is also important. If your service provider's DNS is not fast or secure, you can select a secure DNS from the list or specify a custom one. Change search engine. Now let's click on the search engine from the left sidebar. Here, my default search engine is Google. If you want a more privacy-focused search engine, you can select DuckDuckGo or any other of your preference. Configure password manager. Here in the autofill and password tab, you should check the password manager if you aren't using one. It is important to use one. If not, use the default Chrome password manager as it is also secure. Configure performance. Now, let's check the performance tab. If you are low on memory, you can enable the memory saver option. If you're using a laptop, you can also configure the energy saver. Disable background running of Chrome. Now the most important setting is in the system tab. It is the continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. You should disable this option as you don't want it to keep running in the background and consuming system resources. So these are all the settings that you must change in Google Chrome before using it. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.